Hello everyone and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. Today I am having GSTAR PBX and Transchain PBX. And I am going to make SIP trunk between the Transchain and UCM PBX. So I am going into the Wipe trunk option and UCM and creating a peer trunk giving a name GSTAR and in the host name option I'm giving the IP address of GSTAR PBX. So you can see the PBX IP and then click on save. Now edit it again and go to advanced setting. Now select the specific codex. After selecting specific codex, we need to enable heartbeat detection. So that it will continue monitoring the status of the trunk. Now save. Now we'll move to the outbound route. We'll create a route from UCM to Yestar PBX. So UCM has 900 extensions series and Yestar PBX has 1000 series of extensions. You can see here. So we have to create a route for 1000 series of extensions. So I'm giving a name. For this outbound rule and the pattern I'm giving 1000 and in the last digit I'm setting as X now selecting the extensions and now selecting the trunk through which the call established to the yes star PBX now I'm creating a incoming rule from yes star to UCM so the pattern is UCM extension series, so I'm giving 90x and default destination selecting as a extension by DAD. Now click on apply changes. So the UCM side configuration is done. Now I'm moving to the ESR PBX and into the trunk option, adding and giving name grass stream. The trunk status should be enabled and trunk type should be peer trunk now in the host name option we have to give the ucm ip address with port 5060 which is the default say port of pbx now in the domain name option we have to give the same ip address of ucm and select the codec with a video codec as well now save now i will create outgoing and incoming rule in the call control option so first i am creating inbound rule here and click on add now here the did pattern is changed from grand stream pbx so for did range we have to give the extension series 1000 to 1004 And selecting the trunk through which the call land on the extension and the destination I'm selecting extension range and similarly we have to give here 1000 to 1004 now save and now I'll make outbound route and giving a name the pattern is x dot by default we are changing it to 90x we are not stripping any digit and selecting the trunk now selecting all the extensions on the right side so these are the selected and they can make the call now click on apply now we will check the status in both the pbx of trunk status whether the trunk is reachable in yester pbx and the grass stream pbx so to check the status we have to move pbx monitor option and the trunk option Currently it is not reachable, it takes some time. Similarly we can check the status in UCM. Now the trunk status is reachable here in the UCM PBX and the Yestra PBX is also in reachable. Now both side configuration is done and you can see one extension is registered in Grandstream and one is UCM PBX. And yester pbx so i'll make a call from 
UCM extension to JSTAR extension. So now I'm opening my Wave application and dialing the JSTAR PBX extension number. I'm dialing 1000 and making an audio call. Now you can see the call is going and ringing. Now the call is answered from the JSTAR extension and you can see in the active calls the call is connected and extension is busy 1000 similarly we can check the concurrent call so you can see one call is going on so now i disconnected the call and the status changed to zero now i'll make a video call since both the pbx support video codec so we make a video call from UCM extension to ESTAR extension. Now clicking on video call. And now you can see the call is established and we can get the both side video. Now I'll make a call from ESTAR side to Grand Team extension. So you can see the call is received and both side communication is done. So the same way you can do at your side. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends. Thank you.